Hello guys, it's Blitz here. I'm on Dungeon Defenders 2 as you can see, and today we're going to be talking about how to level up, not, well, we're going to be talking about how to gear up, you know, efficiently the right way. Because a lot of people have this weird idea in their head, or really it's not even a weird idea, it's just, a, it's just something that you would do if it was any other game. <laughs> Which is, if you want gear, try to get in the highest chaos possible and have somebody carry you through. Now, let me be the one to tell you from a lot of mistakes, myself included, you know, I've, I've, you know, people, I've encountered people making that mistake and I also went through that mistake. It was a lot of wasted time and it was just, it was just a headache trying to figure out how to fix myself. So we're going to open up my inventory here. As you can see. Um, this is right after the actual update to stability update that just hit Xbox. So, um, as you can see, I don't have any relics on this character. This is all my armor, my weapon, whatever. I don't really use this character. So let's go to my, uh, Abyss Lord. Yeah. Alrighty. Now what we have here is armor and stuff that's, that's peaking at the top of chaos four. If I were to. If I were to uh, pull out my list and bring out one of these old characters, or look at one of these old characters, you can see the armor and everything's way, way lower. These, these are characters I do not use, by the way. Um, but pretty much what I'm what I'm trying to tell you and trying to help, trying to help you know you guys understand is there is no carry me through, please. Only way, only reason you would want to be carried through at a certain point in this game, if you're being carried and you can't handle it yourself, is if you want the XP. For your ascension level otherwise you're wasting your time you're not gonna get uh nearly as amount of uh or you're not gonna upgrade as, as fast as you you're supposed to be upgrading and moving on to the next chaos because pretty much let's say i have this guy he's he's looking like he should be in chaos one maybe maybe on his way to chaos two i'd say so i have uh this squire that i have here and uh I go to uh, Chaos 4 just because I'm in Chaos 4. Now, I don't have, let's say I, I, let's say this is my only character. So for just to make a point, let me actually do that for you guys, just to make a point. So I take all of these characters off. And if you want to know how to take your characters off, you just, you, you would be in the inventory when you open this up, hit LB, click in the left analog is going to come up with my heroes and not just your deck. And then you hold LB and the direction of whichever character you want to take off out of your deck. So, and then I'm going to click on the left analog stick again. It's my deck now. So this is my only character now. If I take this guy to C4 with the team that I play with or the friends that I play with, because they can handle this stuff and they can carry me, yeah. But if I go there with this character, I'm going to be wasting my time because the game is set up in a way to where it does not give you C4 gear, it gives you gear around your uh around your your uh pretty much your guilt your gear values. So it's not just gonna jump up and give you a big increase from C4 all the way from C1 to C4. You can't skip like that. A lot of games allow you to do that, but this game in particular does not. You know, it kinda sucks in a way, but it kinda, you know, adds replay value to the game. It makes you grind. It makes you put in those hours. It makes you learn the characters. You can't just get on here and be like, all right, man. I mean, it kind of does suck for some people that have played it uh, previously on PC and stuff like that. If they have an Xbox and they want to play with their friends, they're like, uh, let me just get on here, you know, and jump and see, you know, see whatever. But they already know you can't do that. They've been dealing with this for a long time now. So for everyone who's asking for carries and everything like that, it's good. It's good to carry for XP. It's not good to try and carry for gear because you won't get the gear. And now, now that I'm done with explaining that, let's move on to the next uh, part. To understand where your gear ends off. Hey man, how you doing? But to understand where your gear ends off on and what chaos you need to be in, you need to grind that chaos out. Like I would go, if I was using this character, this is my only character, I would go and grind chaos one to see if I'm getting any upgrades or, or, just to skip that process, if you have a lot of gold, what you can do is, is come to these vendors and you can buy your items. Because these vendors in, in the tavern and outside the tavern, the max items they can give, like the, the max value of items they can go up to is 
chaos 2 so you could sit here and get enough gold to buy everything up to chaos 2 that way you could be a low ascension and you've already skipped past chaos 2 because you have the gear you bought it and you maxed it out that's the fastest way that i know how to do it it's um to, to skip past chaos 2 is buy the gear max it out if you have the gold or the uh defender medals or whatever you want to call them but yeah if you have that you can skip past it otherwise you're just gonna sit there and grind you know and just put in the time now now that you have your let's say i buy this now that you have your c2 gear and you have it maxed you would move on or just to make sure you would go back to c2 and see if you're getting any upgrades if you're not getting really any upgrades or they're really low then you need to move on to c3 the way to know another way is um the upgrade should be by like if you know you're in the right one the upgrade should be by like till you get to the end of that chaos the upgrade should be almost anywhere from i would say not even 50 because that's kind of low for me because i was in uh, i was grinding c4 and i was getting upgrades to armor that's 100 plus you know 100 plus armor i would get relics that's like sometimes 400 300 plus my uh hero damage would increase by like 100 plus as well and it, you can really move on to the next chaos really fast yeah but um that, that's just the best way to do that so you know just make sure you're moving on just make sure you stand within the right chaos grinding it out and moving up or you know buying your way up or whatever another way to do it fast too is when you have these weapons and items you want to upgrade them if you have the gold uh like me with my other characters, people were like, oh man, I don't upgrade anything past ba base value. I'm like, all right, that's that's how you do it. I'm going to do it my way. You can do it your way. We're going to see who finishes off faster. Obviously, I finished off faster, but that was because I had the gold and the defender medals to do so. Now, the way I was acquiring that stuff is because I was farming. Like, you know, once you have good items and stuff, it's, it takes no time to go back and farm a lower uh, chaos. But me personally, I was farming an incursion called Demon's Lair. Uh, they actually added they added Power Surge. Um, and I think Demon's Lair actually before it was giving you 14 Defender Medals. I'm gonna actually play it today and see how many it gives us. But yeah, it's a it's a it's a process, man. You gotta you gotta really enjoy the game to be able to grind. As hard as it makes you grind because it makes you grind pretty hard uh, a few little tips that I'll throw out there too for the people who actually stayed and watched this long into the video is if you saw my other characters this stuff these relics I only had on one one or two at most because if you it tries to it, to me it seems like it tries to average out of all the little relics that you have on to give you your next best one so I put on one I was like you know what I'm gonna put on one and you know, I'm not using all of those defenses half the time. I'm probably using one from each different character that I might have on. Or somebody, or I'm with somebody else and they want to use theirs because theirs might be better by like a thousand damage. Or theirs might have this cool effect because I don't have that shard. So I'm like, fine, fine, go ahead, you have it. And I'll just put on one relic. And boom. It's 300, 300 increase. With two, it's like two or three or four is trying to average out in between them and give you like that little hundred increase you know um but yeah uh that's really the keystone the keys pretty much like DJ said the key I got the keys the keys the keys I think that's DJ Khaled but yeah that's pretty much the keys to 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 understanding <laughs> how to progress in this game when it comes to gear values and leveling up and everything like that now another thing I would do for you guys is if you check the description down below Make sure you guys get the video to, I just want the video at about 20 likes. Just 20 likes, man. And I will leave the list. Or I, if you can't understand the uh, list of how, like, the gear values that I leave in the description, put it in the comments down below that you can't understand. And I will make a list for you. A personal list, not really personal, but a personal list for my YouTube, you know, subscribers and viewers of how and where you need to go to the next chaos. So you're not stuck in that chaos thinking that you're, you know, getting stuff when you should be in the next one, getting 100 plus upgrades or where you need to go back. And that's the tricky part. That's what, that's what I was failing to, uh, I was going to miss out on telling you guys. I actually got stuck up 
you know, me and one of my friends were like, you know what, C2 is way too easy. We're out of here. We're going to C3. So we're in C3. We're getting like, you know, 20, 30 plus upgrades. We're like, man, no, yo, this is easy too. So we've been grinding this for like a day and a half. We go to C4. We able to we able to two man C4, man. I'm telling you, we're able to two man C4. When it gets to three or four more people, it's too hard. But that that's another that's another uh thing. It adds twenty five percent health to the enemies per person you have, per player. So we're like, man, what's happening? Like, yo, this this is crazy. We should be able to do this with four man teams. And then we figure something out after I invite uh one of my friends to the to the game. He's a lower ascension than me. I was like one thirty, he was like ninety something, ninety eight, I think. And I invite him to the game, and I kid you not, when he joined my game and I looked at his gear, the 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 how upset I got in my like at myself because I was like I did something wrong immediately. Me and my friend we sensed it was like we did we did something wrong, so we asked him where he got his gear from, and that's when we came to understand the game, and um, how you're supposed to get your gear. That's when we came to understand because his gear was miles better than ours, if not three times better than ours. But we were still able to do. You know, C4, it's like, oh, man, they should give you gear because you're able to do it. No, that's not how it works. You have to grind out that chaos. I'm telling you this right now because I care about you guys' time. I don't want you to watch my videos and be wasting your time. You think you're doing something. I want you to watch this video and know what to do. You know what I mean? And it's, it's just crazy. Like, it's, it's really insane. But, yeah, so... That's, that's all I really want to tell you guys. If you think I missed anything, put it in the comments down below. I'll make sure, you know, comment type, you know, to you guys and put it in another video. But, yeah, I am going to be dropping more videos of the culling and trove really soon for the people that are here for trove and the culling. But, yeah, it's been good. It's your boy Blitz. Deuces. I got the kid to the streets. I got the kid to the safe. He want to see what I'm selling. I put a kid in his face. I just got paid for